I love you too. Thank you all. You're a rock star. No, no, there's just so no, many great really people are. who are. You can't go anywhere without getting. Hey. She's really gotten kind of a rock star reception uh, last night in Des Moines. You could really feel that electricity among uh, about 500 people who showed up to see her. I'll see the immediate types gushing about Democratic rock stars uh, just from the last 24 hours. I kid you not. Well, let's play a little game. Republican John James has closed the gap to seven points in his challenge against Michigan Senator Debbie Stabenow. Now, Beto O'Rourke likewise trails seven by seven in his race to unseat Ted Cruz. But according to Google News, a Beto O'Rourke search nets uh, 2.68 million results. John James, 82,100. Here to react, Republican candidate for the U.S. Senate in Michigan, John James. John, it's great to see you as always. Now, any guesses as to why you're not the subject of these glowing media profiles? Because a lot of people out there I've talked to do think you're a rock star, by the way. Well, I'm not a rock star. I'm just a servant. Uh, but I can guess that the liberal media is dealing with me the way they deal with a lot of their issues. They're ignoring them and hoping they'll go away. Well, they can't ignore me, and I won't go away, just like the issues that are facing Michigan that Debbie Stabenow has ignored for decades. Uh, we're surging in the polls, went from 23 to 18 to 9 and now 7. We outraised Debbie Stabenow by double last quarter, and we just had a rally last week that got 4,000 people when Bernie Sanders struggled to get uh, 1,000 last week. We really love the momentum, and if you'd like to learn more, please go to johnjamesforsenate.com. We'd love to have you on board. Now, this is a big deal. I mean, Stabenow is a, is a fixture in Washington. She's part of the swamp. Uh, and you represent something, again, that the American media don't want to recognize, a conservative African-American. Uh, and uh, when we come back, we're going to talk about what's happening in another state that I want your reaction on. This is Andrew Gillum's incendiary comments earlier today that African-American politicians, namely liberal, are treated differently. John James will... We'll, we'll stay with us. When we come back, we'll address that. Stay there. Your reaction to Andrew Gillum's comments I just mentioned that black politicians are treated to a different standard. John. Well, my father was raised in the Jim Crow South, and he taught me to never make excuses and all ways to do everything that I could to excel. That's why I made it to West Point, deployed with Operation Rocky Freedom, and brought all my men back home as Ranger Qualified Apache pilot and grew my family business. I believe in a, in a red, white, and blue message, not a white or black message. And that's why my message is resonating, because we're all Americans, and we need to push past the identity politics, make sure we bring people together. And John, when 98 percent, yeah. John James, uh, Michigan voters are watching tonight. I really appreciate your joining us, and thank you for your service.